There's the truck. Back then, uh, out of the shop. Got the bumper on. Got the license plates on it. Got the John Deere plate on it. And again, I don't want to put my back when I do the bed. We can see now it's inside. I get that. Got the gravel paint well, guys. Got to grind it down. Grind the well down. I got a free. Well, this back back and cut this out and put a new piece in. Get that all situated. Put the roof back. Put the roof on. Lower the roof patch back on. So you got more welding to do and grinding to do. Get it done. Little by little. I like how low she is. I'll give you a picture of the video to show it when it's away from me. Look at that. Look at that. The guys look so sick. I like that. It's bad. Badass. Alright, I'm going to paint, paint an airbrush um, the, sign, the John Deere logo on the, on the side of it. So it'll look nice. Give it a John Deere theme. I, I made this for it. And, uh, to Darren call my Rocky. Made it. It's uh, 14 gauge. 14 gauge steel. So you gotta get it done. I gotta look for seats for the, for the truck. I still gotta get the patch panel patched. Get it all switch bladed straight and all that. Get it all done. I gotta, wait, I gotta take take this off. Don't need it. Stuff that I don't need. I take, got the uh, the visors uh, off of it right now. Get worked on. But let's show you what I did. You see the with the ch uh, green frame. Like I picked the inside of the frame. You get that all painted. The rear end's gonna be green too. Give it a matching look of the truck. It's gonna have a lot of green on it. But that back then I could put a C V joint boots on my on my grandma's car. So the back the truck out. Take the uh, shape and over the hood, I'll show you the steering box. What I did. There's my steering arm I made right there. 